I'm Rob Port from SayAnythingBlog.com. I have with me uh, North Dakota State Representative uh, Keith Kepnich from Bowman, North Dakota. And he has introduced a uh, resolution in the House which would amend the state constitution uh, to uh, require have, have some additional requirements for uh, uh, putting a, a, a constitutional measure on the ballot, which would be a, a measure voted on by the people to amend uh, the state constitution put there by uh, petition signatures. Uh, first of all, Representative Kepnich, thank you for your time. And, and tell us what exactly... Uh, your resolution would do if passed. Okay, uh, Rob, this uh, the uh, House Resolution uh, 3005 is uh, uh, started out, and this has been before this what happened here last spring. But uh, uh, what always kind of you know constitutional measures, and we've seen that over the years that uh, uh, you, you know once you get do that it's very tough to change them if there's problems with it and one example i'll, I'll use is is uh, like the legacy fund you know kind of the wor way it's worded and stuff it gets to the point of what it's tr doing but the the way it's worded is very cumbersome you, you know the, the, the and you can't really change that wording uh to make it work better so uh what got me going here uh, uh and this like i said this was over a year ago i started thinking about how to how to uh Get a broader base of uh, of uh, people when you're voting on constitutional measures. You know, you get uh, you get out there, and if you're trying to push these before they get even on the ballot, that uh, uh, you you get out, and and it isn't just a small group of people that uh, you know you you'd have to sell it to uh, a larger area and and uh, demographics and stuff on it. So, uh, you know, this and then this last spring just kind of reinforced. <laughs> What uh, you know that I, I just kind of reinforced that uh, notion that uh, uh, especially constitutional measures because they're fairly permanent once they go in there that uh, we should have a broader base of uh, where these are being generated from. When 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 yeah. you say when you say this when you say this last spring what what are you uh, what what are you referring to? Well, it was uh, there. There was uh, a couple instances where there was ballot measures, uh, initiated ballot measures that got rejected, and uh, you kind of seen on the one, especially on that one constitutional measure of uh, the wildlife groups, where um, they uh, they got, you know, it was basically a hired uh, firm from out of the state that uh, was hired some local uh, college kids to. Uh, Collect signatures, and uh, the way the way our uh, the way the measures sit right now is is it's basically four percent or roughly twenty seven thousand signatures you need uh, to for a constitutional and uh, measure and uh, initiated measures is half that. So you know, and 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 that that's what kind of reinforced that I was thinking that uh, we need to get this spread out throughout the state instead of. Uh, uh, just one geographical location, and I know in the past that the state fair has been a been a hotbed of collecting signatures and stuff too, because you go up there in the spring and if there's initiated measures being uh, 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 initiated, uh, there there's uh, groups running around, you know, collecting signatures at you know large gatherings and stuff like that. And I'm not saying that you couldn't probably collect a good chunk of people from the state fair because they come from all across the state, but what this measure basically does is that uh, uh, you need to have uh, uh, to get at least half the counties, and you need you need the, a certain percentage of those counties. You can't just you know you can't go and collect one signature from say Bowman County and then satisfy this you know and collect the rest in Cass County or Grand Forks County or Burley County or Ward County. You know you'd have to you'd have to get uh, half the Half the state, half the counties, uh, you, you'd have to get residents of uh, half the counties to uh, to um, have. And then there's, like I said, there's a percentage in there that, uh, and I'd have to sit down. I haven't figured out what, because it varies from county to county too, of what the amount of signatures you'd need in each county to make that work. But uh, it's still 27,000 signatures you'd have to collect. It's just that you couldn't you you couldn't collect. Uh, uh, the majority of them from from just one location. Well, stuff you'd have to. Have, I, uh, I I think I think I think there's elements of that that makes sense. I mean, obviously, North Dakota is 
um, we have some large urban areas, and then most geographically, most of the state is is relatively light on population. So what you would be looking to do is to require some buy-in from petition signers maybe outside of the major urban areas like Fargo, Grand Forks, Bismarck, Minot. Yes, yes, that's exactly where everybody's got. And, and it, what it comes down to is, is, you know, and it's been talked about here this fall, you know, about low information voters. And uh, I think what it would require these uh, groups, if somebody wanted to uh, constitute an initiated, especially a con uh, constitutional uh, initiated measure, that they'd have to get out and, have some inform informational meetings across the state, you know, to even get the signature, you know, to even get enough signatures, uh, and not just, uh, like I said, not just have bodies, but actually some information that goes along with it and what what it would do, and so so you'd have a broader base. I'm not trying to, you know, it would be another, it 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 wouldn't require any more, but it it would require some work. <laughs> It would, it's you know, it's some involved. additional. It's I I do think I think it's fair to say it does set the bar a little bit higher, uh, if you want to get a, oh, yeah. a a measure on on the ballot. What, what would you say? Because you you mentioned specifically, and, th and this was a concern of mine as well. But you uh, um, mentioned specifically some concern about a couple of groups, and, and I think one of them was uh, was pushing a, a medicinal marijuana. Um, measure the other was pushing a, a conservation measure and 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 not not saying anything one way or another about um you know whether or not those specific causes were right we saw some news articles where they had some pretty deep pockets behind uh those measures i mean they spent uh I, you know i i i think the con conservation group spent in excess of a hundred thousand dollars um i i think that the medicinal marijuana group spent tens of thousands of dollars on collecting signatures if if you set the bar a little bit higher and, and some of the concern i've heard from people uh who, who have been you know involved in these measures in the past if you set the bar higher are you really hurting them? Or are you hurting like the, the, the truly volunteer groups that don't have a budget at all or, or have a very small budget uh, that are trying to put something on the ballot, which, which I think most of us think is, is, is the spirit in which, you know, these initiated measure um, policies exist in, in the first place? Well, here's the thing is if it's, if it's, and and we're talking constitutional measures. We're not talking initiated. You know, right. I mean, I wasn't going to mess with them because sure. that that is more of a of a grassroots, you know, initiated measures on things. But one of the things, and we'll take the wildlife group for example. You know, the the amount of money they were looking to appropriate out of the state, you know, without really, you know, you really got to look at what they were trying to do. Uh, it 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 was a little bit worrisome because if groups could start to appropriate money and uh, you get more of it uh, you know especially when it's 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 and I'm not saying it wasn't broad based but I'm just saying that you know we potentially you could have been looking at uh, 50 70 hundred million dollars you know who knows what you know the way that was worded and stuff on it yeah. and uh, you start getting outside of uh, where they are just looking at one part of the pie so to speak, what goes on in the state, uh, it becomes very troublesome when uh, when that starts happening. And, and so I think that especially on constitutional, you know, Ben, one thing if it was an initiated measure, you know, you can yeah. work with the legislature, can work, you know, around that or with it or something, you know, to try to make it work. But when you start putting stuff in the Constitution like that, uh, <laughs> there's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of, uh, uh, changes that you can really make because every time you try to change something it's got to go to the voters and sure and voters basically when they come in if you know the information they have is probably the majority of them is what's written down on that piece of paper there's people i know even this last fall you know there is voters that call you know call me up or somebody they that uh you know might have a little more of an insight on what's going on but uh that's my opinion too you know it isn't you know that's just one person's opinion too. sure but, so i think what this would be before you even started that before people are even signing that there'd be kind of a you know the, that they'd have to get out and 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 sell this to a broader base and just you know the group that you know that just the 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 actively activists that are trying to push it you know and stuff sure like. so or do you do you say, do do, do you post. think though just just to get back to the, the the question though do you think that yeah. raising the bar higher 
I mean, a group that has one hundred and fifty thousand. I mean, that that is. I was I was shocked when I heard that number. I mean, that is a very large amount of money to put into a ballot measure. I've never heard of that amount of money before. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, a, a group like that that's got hundreds of tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. I mean, they're, they're probably going to be, still be able to meet the bar that you're talking about. Do you sure, worry that sure, that maybe sure the truly? I, I, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I, I guess I guess. Are no. you worried that the, that the truly small or grassroots groups, that the truly volunteer groups, are going to be hurt by this? Well, I don't. I I don't think it will because if it's an idea that people can uh, are you know enthused about or something that they feel that's needed to you know to change, truthfully, I don't think it's going to be that hard to do. And if it is well funded, yeah, you aren't going to stop that. And you can. It's a, like a lot of stuff. You couldn't put enough laws on the books, probably, to uh, to stop it. You know, if and, and if it's a bad idea, it's going to be a challenge. You know, I yeah. mean, if it's something that's uh, that's controversial to a point where people, if they find out the information and they don't like it, you know, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be harder to sell. But I think that uh, you know, and that was my thought too was you know if, if it's something that's popular or something that people feel that uh, is needed i don't think it'd be that tough to to uh, meet that challenge uh because it you know it, it isn't you're, you're only 20 you're only like 20 20 some odd counties that you need to do this with you know it isn't like you're got to cover the whole state but uh it is something where you'd have to get out and and uh broaden broaden out the uh uh, broaden out uh, 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 what your your base your base of signature support yeah 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 well yeah. Rep representative yeah. Kepnick, yeah. thank you so much for uh, taking the time to talk to us about this idea sure we'll see what happens when the hearing comes up and uh, uh, like I said it's something that I thought you know you throw it out there and we'll see see what happens and we'll go from there sure I appreciate the time thank you.